What is going on guys? This is Joey Young coming at you an update on the Nano Reef. All right, so today um, it marks one year and one month for this tank. I am actually really, really surprised that this tank is still up and running. Um, just because um, probably around December time frame, I almost consider um, taking this tank down. Um, not just because um, it wasn't running well or you know whatnot I mean it was running really well um, I really just almost got I don't know tired of the tank in terms of like the it I lost interest in the tank um, the only thing that really kept this going was when my pair of clownfish laid the eggs um, it really just you know opened my eyes and it was like oh you know there's something new that I can can do because um, you know the tank was running really well it was you know stable day in day out it was like the same um, for me I like, kind of like change um, a lot and so the tank almost was taken down like right before the one year mark um, I still don't know the future of this tank to be honest um, right now it's running you know fairly well um, and I actually got some new stock to keep me kind of interested and kind of going so first I'll kind of go over um, the current tank status and also um, the, the new livestock as, as you can see. Alright so first um, you can see two new clownfish um, because I moved the other original two clownfish um, into the new breeding tank. I went ahead and bought two more just because every reef tank you just have to have some sort of clownfish. Like if you don't have it, I don't know, like they're, they're really entertaining, they're really just fun to watch. So this time I went ahead and bought um, some designer clownfish. Um, so initially I bought two lightning maroon clownfish. Um, so here's one of them. The other one that I had originally um, with this guy, uh, maybe like a week in, I couldn't, I should have really just paid attention uh, during quarantine. Um, didn't notice that he had ick until like maybe like the later stages. Um, by then when I was treating him, it was already kind of a little too late. So he passed and um, I, I could have gotten another uh, lightning clownfish to make it an official like pair. Um, but I was doing some research um, in terms of other maroon clownfish family and uh, found that the, uh, the one I have right now is in the back. You can't really see him, but he's like way back here um, is a white gold nugget maroon clownfish. And um, if you breed or you crossbreed these guys, they actually turn out really cool. So basically, you see how this one's a little bit more red? Um, it would get, you know, that red color with the lightning kind of like striped looking thing um, for some of the, um, the fry. So I think that would be a pretty cool thing to see. Um, obviously, you know, they're not anywhere near the size of breeding. Um, you know, my original clownfish took about a year to get to that size, so uh, probably another year or so before these guys are even remotely close to breeding. But I thought it was pretty interesting that, you know, you can kind of do that. So I went ahead and bought, you know, a nice pair of a designer clownfish since um, uh, I originally really wanted uh, phantom clownfishes. Uh, but I decided to go with these because they're a little bit different. Um, and. They grow a little bit bigger, so um, we'll see what happens here. So other than uh, those two new fish, um, I also got another um, fire shrimp to replace my cleaner shrimp, just to try to keep the same species in terms of family. Um, so I moved the cleaner shrimp that was in this tank into the other tank, and I bought another buddy for him. So there's one right there, and the other one's right there. Um, normally they're pretty aggressive towards each other, but you know these two worked out pretty well. Um, one's a little bit smaller, but they're pretty friendly, so. Hopefully that turns out pretty good. Um, the other livestock is the peppermint shrimp. Um, I went ahead and bought two in here just to replace the original, I guess, two I had in here. They slowly kind of just disappeared and just died off somewhere. And I just really didn't know about them. All right, so into the corals. The corals, um, a lot of my original corals, I want to say the zoas up here kind of died off. Um, that was when one of the month I kind of just got lazy in terms of like I wasn't really like um, cleaning the debris between the rocks letting it kind of build up the tritus that's that's when I really kind of just like eh, this tank is just gonna be running by itself kind of thing and um, a lot of the zoas the parameters kind of dropped a little bit because I wasn't checking those um, my uh, core here is starting to kind of die back because of that 
Um, a lot of the corals um, and frags down here kind of like died off, which is like, eh, it's all right, you know, um, it happens. Um, but the last couple months I've been kind of, you know, getting the fire back in terms of uh, keeping this tank in. Been cleaning it a lot. Um, been using uh, this right here to clean the tanks uh, in between the uh, crevices and stuff. It's been working really well. I've been doing it kind of like every other day and it's getting really clean. Um, as you notice, like in my other previous videos, I used to have a lot of like this green algae along these tank side uh, glasses here. The one thing I found out was it's because uh, my cleanup crew, like um, there's a lot more now, but before then, um, I didn't, a lot of the snails I originally had kind of died off just because they got an odor or just randomly died off and I was I didn't have that much snails. So I went ahead and bought some more snails and actually they've been keeping these side tanks pretty clean. I would still have to scrape, you know, some of the algae on both, you know, ends of the thing, but it's not as heavy as before. All right, in terms of coral, um, I got uh, this frog spawn here in front that's new. Um, this green star polyp that's pretty nice um i kept that guy put him in the center i might frag a couple of those guys um torch coral my original torch coral that was sitting here um it slowly kind of died off um again that's probably just over over time the parameters kind of dropped and wasn't really paying attention but um i got a new one so that one's looking pretty well um the maiden hair grass i was talking about in my other video this is the one that looks somewhat decent um, a lot of it did melt back, but it's growing a lot faster in this tank because it's establishing this tank um, versus the other tank. So that's doing pretty well. So once that kind of grows up, I can probably start fragging some of that and putting it somewhere else. All right, so in terms of equipment, uh, equipment's all the same. Um, the skimmer for this um, filter kind of stopped working probably like three months ago. Um, well, it works, but it would just over skim um, a lot of for whatever reason, I just haven't really put much effort into seeing what can fix that. Um, I just kind of just pulled it off. Um, so it's been running, you know, without a skimmer for a while, and it's been, you know, doing pretty decent. I've been doing a lot of control feeding um, in terms of uh, flakes. I haven't fed as much, and you know, everything's looking a little bit better in terms of like the quality of the water and the tank. Um, the MP10, uh, like I said, I swapped the head. Of the MP10 um, on this original tank that was covered with coralline algae into the other one to help jumpstart that so that's a new head right there um, that's on that but yeah so hopefully these new livestock um, these new fish uh, some of the little new corals will keep the uh, the tank a little bit more interesting other than that you know it's pretty much the same tank um, scape um, as it was when I first set it up so it really not much has changed and again, the future of this uh, tank, I'm not really sure, um, but it should keep me interested for at least the next couple of months or so uh, in terms of the, the livestock here. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the tank, um, and um, until next time, peace.